Hello, fellas. Hello, fellas. How are you doing? Texting Pro. I'm uh, just having a little issues with the audio. Uh, the OBS updated, and then uh, uh, I'm gonna have a little issues with the uh, uh, with the uh, audio. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna cut this uh, two front windows on this uh, 23 Audi U-Tron S. Uh, I've been doing several Audis uh, for the past few days though. And then it's late on Saturday. I don't even know what time it is though. What, what is my phone? I don't even know. Anyway, it's uh, man, say something. Anyway. Uh, I already moved the sweeps on this thing. It's not really that difficult though, to be honest with you. It's quick, okay? So if for you, uh, if you have any issues, uh, the only thing is uh, with these ones though, is uh, you gotta be careful uh, to pull in the, uh, the panel on top because these Audis have uh, the windows, the front windows, have the tendency to leave uh, a little uh, piece of the window on the very edge. So don't push anything like I put a tool because you're gonna hit the glass and it breaks. I'm telling you because uh, it couldn't happen. It's a uh, sensitive glass, city buster. I put my logo already in here. Okay, so I don't know if you all can see it, but yeah. So I put my logo in there, and then I did some changes and stuff like that. So uh, I did that and top of that. I did my shirts too as well. Uh, I hope you can see it here on the glass. I got my shirt. I got my shirt in here. Texas Team Pro and on the back as well. Uh, because uh, I gotta support, support myself, myself right? right? Anyways, so uh, yeah, that's exactly what I what I did. And then it's not really that difficult to remove the the sweeps out of this thing, though. It's just uh, to uh, to screws. I uh, just want to screw. Like I said, this thing. You put it in here, okay? Just uh, digging in here through here, through this uh, little hole, okay? Get your piece of uh, tool, uh, which I have, uh, what's my tool? Where did the tool go? Uh, I have a little piece of tool. Let me show it to you, what I use for that. I mean, it can be anything, like one of those picks. I normally have this one with me to release that. Just be careful doing it. So just pull it, pull it right here. And this one pops first and then you just wobble until it actually comes off. So this one over here comes out. Let me see the number of the uh, torque, which is the 25, T25 torque. And then right after you just pull it and then use your magic tool to remove the sweep. And you have freedom to do an access to do your magic right there. So which I'm gonna do it, probably I'm gonna do it right now. I'm just gonna, I was gonna do live like I said, but uh, it's a little too late though for that. I'm just gonna pretty much uh, recording this and then and that's it uh, sun to go has been busy all day i've been having several audits uh, i did a e-tron uh, e earlier which is uh the regular e-tron that has a little quarter window in the front glass too and then they're not bad they're too tight i actually two staged that one because they're super super tight especially these cars you gotta be careful because like i said those glasses are sensitive though so i'm just uh doing a little 
It's been a bit though. I've been just kind of busy, no time to do any recording, taking pictures or any of that uh, nature, but just trying to do a little video here as always. You know, I know I need to keep it a little bit more uh, going with those live streaming. So, uh, as always, I do my snap shrinking on the billboard. I always love doing this. Some of the guys, they do it on the glass. I think it's a, uh, save some time. A little bit time saver. So, in my end, that's what I do. So just a little shrink here. And then, actually before I leave, I want to get it done, this one, because tomorrow in the morning I'm going to be texting the guy. And then he's going to bring another Audi. And then, uh, the thing is with this dealership, the, the Tinter, who actually does the work over there, is on vacation. So I hope the guy takes a little bit longer vacations, right? That way I keep on having this, these cars. And then it's fun though, actually, you know, it's better to get used to, to these, these cars, to be honest with you, because they're tight, they're not easy, but the, the harder the, it gets, the better you're gonna get. Especially, you know, because it's been a while and it's actually, I was doing twist stage, and with the, with the other e-tron, I had to do twist stage, and then just, you know, just to get used to it with the uh, two staging again because I did it for a long time but since I do bottom loading I love more bottom loading than two staging but it is what it is some of them you can some of you can't you know you gotta just check and see what you need to do what you're not and stuff like that so I want to do this thing I'm gonna bring my my rag and then clean the edge like i always do so uh, and then uh, let me see here i need to turn this thing on pretty cool car though kind of so this thing's got yeah this fucking stick in here so You know how that goes. Well, for you guys, uh, they're gonna be watching the video later. Uh, uh, if you have any questions about something, about tools, or whatever the case may be, just leave in the comments. Let me know when anything that you wanna know, or another tips or something like that. But, you know, like I said, uh, with these cars, actually, if I'm gonna keep on having these cars more often, I'm gonna get a little bit better, because these cars are fucking difficult though, super tight cars. But like I said, the more the tighter they get, the better, more fun. So you find your ways, same for the, uh, for the tint off. You know what I'm saying, for that. I was thinking to probably compete, but I'm not actually quite sure. I might, I might do, I might not, I'm not sure yet. Because I don't have plans to do anything this year, to be honest with you. Maybe just the tint off and that's it. Probably go to the other event that's gonna be in Florida, that too, so. Yeah, today was a long, long, long day though. I started, I left another e-tron yesterday. I did it last night, I left. And they brought me, this is I think the third one today. They brought me, I was gonna do, do it, but uh, I got a little busier. I had a Tesla windshield that I had to do. Then after, uh, another two front windows on a customer they just stopped by and, and I told them like in an hour because I was actually finishing the, uh, the Tesla. So I did that. Uh, I did the front two windows, the Tesla, 
And then uh, another customer with a BMW too. The guy called me in the morning. I told him to drop it off and they started showing up at freaking four o'clock PM. I'm like, oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. Oh well, man, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So that way you gotta make sure that goes over. Let me see here. There it goes. A little, there it goes. A little bit past that. Just make sure that it's over that. That way you cover it up. The position there. All right. So then the closest possible from the top. Because these cars are like, oh man. And I actually, you know what? Uh, there's a guy who came and I I picked up a turbo and I made my own size. So kind of kind of wanted to to try it again the turbo, the real squeegees. This is the the old one, the old school. The old school still alive. Nobody's gonna change these things. They always, they're always, always gonna be there for years and years, no matter what. So your preferences. So, uh, and then, so you have this thing here, making sure everything is there. Oh gosh. There he goes. Hopefully everything is fine. Look, I cut it a little bit longer. I wouldn't cut it that longer if I was not gonna remove any sweep because damn, these things are freaking tight. No? So. It is what it is. It is what it is. So, tomorrow gonna get back home, get up early again, come because I got, tomorrow I got another Tesla in the morning. Should I go live on that damn thing? Probably I will. Probably, probably. I haven't gone live in a little bit. That way you guys can tell me how's the mic. I mean, yes, because it sounded like a little echo. So probably I'm gonna have to do live for you guys to tell me how is the sound. Pretty much pretty good. So just a little on the corner, but overall, it's pretty damn good. Let me see here. Oh yeah. So, like I said, these cars are really tough cars to do. Some of them you can remove the sweep, not all of them, but... Hey, ya estuvo? Fácil? De volada, man. Si, ahí pon donde estaba. Nada, wey. And then. Es para las emergencias, wey. Seguro. Es bueno tenerla, man, no tener que no tenerla. Pero ya que se lo ofrezca, ya le cobramos. Ahí le pones ahí que también sacas, abres este, los carros. Sí, ya me voy a la otra ventana y a chingar a su madre, papá. Y ya la chingada. Me voy. ¿Ya estuvo? Sí, güey, bastante. No paro en todo el puto día, güey. Ayer también, cabrón, igual. También. Bueno, ya tengo tres ya, güey. Sí, güey. Sí, güey. Ya, qué pedo. 
querías norte. ¿Va? Así es. Hola, mijo. Vas buena noche. Yes, guys. So, about to finish this, just making sure uh, everything is the water, the most of the water is out. And then, that it. So, roll the window down. Okay. I'm going to put everything back together. So, like it belongs to. So, don't, don't forget, these are the brothers, cousins from the Volkswagen. No, Volkswagen is kind of not that bad to remove the sweeps. More than this. These motherfuckers are a little something else. For example, right there. Okay. So, where's my other tool? Okay, see, right there. Just got that little bit. There, that's it. Okay, that's it. Just, just lift it a little bit and push it, and that's it. You don't have to do anything else. Don't do it here, because in here you have the glass right here. Okay, this is the piece of glass. If you put something pressure in here and you press over, you're gonna mess up. You're gonna, you're gonna mess up the window. Okay, and then roll it up, and that's it. Okay, pretty clean. And stuff like that. So, anyway, this one it wasn't as bad when it came in. I checked it and I was like, okay, pretty good. So I'm gonna put this screw in here, back to play, and then uh, with the Milwaukee, pretty quiet little screwdriver. So then, right there. Put it right, and then the little cap, and that's it. That it, and that's it. That's all it is, guys. Just that, like that. Okay. Like I said, whenever you're gonna remove it, let me go back where I was. Remove it. Okay. Just right here. Little tip. Okay, pull it, and then just play with it. Play with this thing, and play with that. Let's see. Just play with it. Okay, twist it a little bit more. Twist it a little bit more. Just play with it slowly, and it'll come off. See, it's got a little of these things, so you gotta just play with it, and that's it. There's five. All right. Don't break them, just play with them, it'll come off. Already. And that's it. It's just the, uh, not that bad, like I said. Get it off the, uh, the screw. And then you do your bottom loading. Same thing the other side. Okay, so I guess, uh, should I do just this window and that's it? I guess, yeah, I'm gonna do that too. Since I just technically just recording this thing, right? And then, uh, like I said, the glass is right there. Don't put any pressure in there because you'll break the glass. These glass are so sensitive and then, oh no. And they're not cheap though. These glass are not cheap. So, and that will be it for the day after a long day. So I'm just gonna do this. Gonna, I was gonna go to the gym, but I guess ain't happening. I went straight home to chill. I, like I said, if you have any questions or something like that, put it in the description below. If you need help or something like that, you know, with these uh, tough cars. I'm going to try to do a little bit more videos and then uh, probably, you know, because I've been coming across some other different cars and I know by five that there's some cars that I don't even know here. And the bottom loading uh, world helps, always helps, you know, always, always helps. This is cars. Uh, 
especially this new uh, Audis. Man, I've been doing several of these uh, U-turns. The mileage range is uh, 200 and something, nothing, comparing to other electric cars. Too much money though. Too much money for what they are, Audis. And then uh, I'll check, let me just do this window. And I'll check, this car is I think $88,000. I was like, fuck, man, it's a lot of freaking money for this thing. All right. Uh, you know what, guys, uh, about the, uh, the uh, door protector from this guy. that has got the dash, the dash protectors. I've been actually, uh, really in the middle of uh, with his new uh, release that he has and uh, no man I don't think uh, it's gonna work on these cars at all I don't think so though because there's I don't know man it's just something that I was gonna get it but like nah I'm just doing my thing or whatever I have and that's it to be honest but uh, I got my little bag, my little plastic bags. They have electrical tape on top, and you can just do a cross. So, uh, yes. So, like I said, never touch the film. I've seen people touching the film and here and there, but the less that you touch it, the better, the less contamination is going to have you want to have on your installation so just make sure that sometimes a little bit uh, there we go there you go come on come on a little more all right let me see i think it's right at the line yes a little bit more just a little bit more, that thing guy is right there. <coughs> there he is. Okay, I think that's it. Alright, so let's do it that way. Okay. Okay, that it. Making sure that everything is aligned. Okay, there it goes. So I continue using my turbo. I kind of like my turbo. Some guy came yesterday offering other film too. And then kind of thought about getting something cheaper again because Sometimes there is these people that don't want to spend more than $150 for a window tent. Oh, shit. Hold on, right here. There you go. There it is. So, there you go. Yes. I could, I could save a little part over here. Just put in some saliva and then scratching it off and remove it. That way I don't get uh, as much of uh, as a contamination as possible, prevent that. That way the job looks more cleaner. You know. Like I said, I've been having fun having these cars though, to be honest with you. They're tough, but they're not that bad. Yes. All right. So.
There he goes. Come on. And then, okay, that. And there he goes. Perfecto. More, more, more. Yes, I think a little, I went a little too damn low on this car. Yes, too way too low. Oh well, it's already done, so. See, you just pull it, and it helps like that. There you go, just make sure that you go under, pull it, and you're gonna have more, uh, oh my God. There you go. More access to squeeze it out. So, got it. There you go. Yeah, I don't think you will be able to go that deep with a freaking sweep. You normally have to cut this one, what is the cut version, the shorter. Because otherwise you're going to have a nightmare going that low on the pattern right there. These cars are difficult though. Yes. Move this. There it goes. Then put the sweep back. Like the other one. There is. Sweep back, easier job. Like I was saying, right here that doesn't want to go in. Just gotta lift it a little bit. That's it. All right, All right that just that part. part. That's, That's it. it. And this one just lift it. And it goes in. Let me see. Hmm. There it goes. Goes in. Just make sure everything is out. There it is. That it. All right. That it. It's all good to go. So put the screw back, the cover, and that will be it. And ready to go home. So. Uh, and the cover, press, that's it, it's all done. All right, fellas, that's it. If you're watching after hours, uh, just uh, if you have any questions or comments or something like that, just leave it in the description. This is a 2023 uh, e-tron S, okay? Because the regular e-tron has got a little tiny windows, like the uh, like the uh, Honda Pilot. So that's it, fellas. Already, time to go home. It's late. Okay. By the way, this is an 88,200. Uh, damn, this is a lot of freaking money for this thing, though. Just say $2,500 and fuel cost for five years. Oh well, here is 23 e-tron S. The regular e-tron has got a little window right here, okay? That's easy. But uh, yeah, you saw how easy to remove the, the sweep on this one. So just uh, give it a try guys, you know how to do it now. So don't frustrate yourself. Thank you very much for joining.
And if you have any questions, like I say, just leave it in the comments below. And I'll see you on the next one. Y'all take care. See ya.